The proof of the violence of this crash is just how little wreckage there is left to see. Only fragments of China Eastern Flight 5735, carrying 132 people, remain. The plane was atomized. These tiny pieces are a terrifying end, but they are clues too. It is hard to piece together this puzzle in the middle of these remote southern mountains. But along with the experts, an army of volunteers is here too. We people here uh, always heard the sad news. Um, we just think uh, life's the uh, uh, most important thing. We just want to help the screen team. We hope they will find survivors. And I believe they will find, finally find the uh, fact of what happened. The volunteers have their work cut out, though. This is a makeshift search and rescue center in a local village near the crash site. But we arrived here to the terrible news that there are no survivors from that plane crash. Instead, what these volunteers are going to do is go to that mountain, find every last scrap of metal that they can. These are tiny scraps from that huge, huge crash and try and piece together what happened. The video you're about to see, captured by a CCTV camera, is distressing. It appears to show a jet nosediving fast into the ground. Only minutes before, it had been cruising normally. That rapid, uncontrolled descent is incredibly unlikely in a modern passenger jet and requires explanation. I don't like to speculate, but the sort of areas the investigators will be looking at will be sabotage, hijack or suicide, along with structural breakup of the aircraft at the tail, because it's the tail which controls the aircraft up or down. They'll exclude the possibility of a bomb because the bomb will be indicated by the aircraft breaking up in the air, which again doesn't suggest took place. The families of the 132 people on board have now all been notified. Not far from the crash site, locals gathered to light candles in a small Buddhist ceremony. They said it was to help the souls of the victims find peace. But their families will need answers too. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, near Wuzhou City, South China.